hatred and bigotry. And in Wisconsin, protesters waving flags with swastikas at the state capitol near the University of Wisconsin in Madison. We blurred the flags in this video. The university and local lawmakers are condemning this protest. It comes as we're seeing a dramatic spike in reports of anti-Semitic incidents. Let's bring in Brooke Goldstein, founder and executive director of the Lawfare Project, providing pro bono legal services to protect, to protect the civil and human rights of the Jewish people worldwide. Brooke, good to have you back on the program. Uh, uh, just your reaction on a gut level. When you look at these videos, I, it's, it's hard to believe what we're seeing in America right now. Yes, absolutely. What we're seeing is the exploitation of a conflict happening thousands of miles away lead to the rise of hatred both from the left and from the right. And it's out for you on display in the streets of America. But I want to point out, Martha, something so important. When we see these Nazi rallies, do we call them pro-Palestinian? We don't, right? That would be ridiculous. The white supremacists hate all Semitics. They, they hate the Muslims. They hate the Arabs. They hate the Jews. But they're exploiting this opportunity to have hate fest rallies. The same thing is happening on the left. And yet when we have pro-Hamas rallies, some in the mainstream media, obviously not Fox News, but others in the mainstream media call them pro-Palestinian rallies. And that's simply inaccurate. It's the same thing. They are exploiting a conflict thousands of miles away to spread a hateful ideology and to target Jewish people in the United States. Mm -hmm. We have to call both of these so, uh, protests what they yeah. are, pro-hate. We have seen um, this on a lot of campuses and a lot of Ivy League schools have been suffering from this. Jordan Peterson spoke about what he thinks is underneath this. Let's watch. Part of the reason that you see all this foolishness on university campuses, too, is because people have bought this idiot metamarxism, which is that the way to look at every social relationship that people ever have is through the lens of power. And then you see the situation is that the leftists have already decided the Palestinians are the victims. And as you pointed out, if you're a victim, then you're morally righteous. And even more conveniently, if you stand for the victim, then you're morally righteous, regardless of what you do with your own life. Do you agree with him on how we got here? If that, is that how we got here, Brooke? I think he's absolutely accurate. There is a formula for this, for hate indoctrination. And the formula has been the same throughout the ages. The only thing changes is the reason why the Jewish people are hated. So, for example, the communists hated us because we were capitalists. Or in the Nazis, they hated us because we were not white enough. And now you see this critical race theory that Peterson is talking about that says Jews are the white colonial oppressors. Mm -hmm. All of this is a, a narrative that is used to justify hatred. Brooke Goldstein, thank you very much, Brooke. Good to have you back. We'll keep watching us. So former thank President you. Donald Trump visited...